Nubble Light was built in 1879 after President Rutherford B. Hayes approved the budget, acknowledging the dangers of Maine's rocky coastline. The name Nubble Light comes from the fact that the island it sits on was thought of as a nub of land. In 1939, the ownership was transferred to the United States Coast Guard, who officially dubbed the building Cape Needick Light Station. So, is Nubble Light haunted? Over the years, there have been many reported sightings. Many visitors have claimed to see the Isidore. The Isidore was a ship that wrecked nearby the lighthouse along the coast of Maine in 1842, over 30 years before Nubble Light was built. Many believe it to be one of the worst events in the history of the Maine coastline, which is saying a lot considering the extremely dangerous terrain. The crew of the Isidore were all from nearby Kennebunk, Maine. Visitors to Nubble Light have seen the ghost ship of the Isidore, even those who did not know about this historic disaster. It's said that one of the sailors had a dream before this fateful voyage, of seven coffins lined up in a row. He claimed one would be his. Even more interesting, another sailor actually hid until after the ship departed port because he had also dreamed of a wreck, and it moved him enough to avoid the voyage altogether. Sadly, seven bodies in the captain's leg washed ashore after the ship sank, turning the sailor's dreams into a horrifying prophecy. In 1987, the lighthouse became automated, and no human lightkeepers were needed any longer. It is still an incredibly popular tourist attraction, Many people are drawn to the beautiful sunsets and crashing waves that surround Nubble Light. For more haunted history, tune in to the Lunatics Radio Hour podcast, anywhere you listen to podcasts.